So today is a very exciting day that I have waited for for a couple of weeks now. I was actually kind of in a bad mood this morning and I was downstairs doing laundry and I looked and there was just this dark mysterious stranger outside my door and my mood has just suddenly been lifted. I tell you what guys, this is my Pat McGrath order. I got the Mothership Trio as well as the Lush, wait, the Lip Lust 004 kit. So I'm super excited for this. Um, I've never actually owned any of Pat McGrath's shadows before, but I have lusted after them for a long time and I finally decided to take the plunge and actually finance this because I'm a ridiculous person. Um, but let's see what's in here, you guys. You guys get to share this long-awaited for moment with me. Um, shipping actually kind of took a long time on this order, which kind of bummed me out just because of like how it's, it was like $400 worth of makeup and I was like, really? But it can't ship faster than two weeks. But I get it. It's like exclusive and it's well made and it's, I guess that stuff just takes a longer time. So I'll have to open this puppy up and see what's inside. Oh, there's a lot of tape. Because I'm it took so long I've done taping this thing. Ooh! There's like confetti inside and my order receipt. This is very chic. I want to keep this. Um, so let's see. We have the black confetti here. And I don't want to throw it all over the place. Okay, so this is the Lust 004 lip kit right here. And as you can see, the packaging is beautiful. I love those sequins. I just, I have a feeling I'm going to be cleaning up after this unboxing for quite some time, but let's, actually, I'm sorry, I need to change my shirt because this light is so hot. I need to put on a short sleeve shirt. I apologize. Okay, so, this is the Lost 004 Everything Lip Kit. I think this came out a little while ago, actually, but I'm excited about it. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six lipsticks, one clear vinyl gloss, one metallic gold pigment, which I'm really excited about because Pat McGrath kills it on the metallics, um, and three microfine glitters. So let's open this puppy up. We're going to need two scissors. Aren't these cute, these little crane scissors? Um... I don't know how you guys feel about this new backdrop either. I was trying something different. I'm trying to like play with the lighting and play with the background a little. Um, just to get like better quality out of my videos. So I'm trying different stuff and some of my videos are going to look different. And just let me know what you think. Um, this light like really excites my cat. And he just likes to run around and like push it over. And it makes me really nervous. So this is the Pat McGrath Clear Vinyl Gloss, and I'm sure that you can use this with the lipsticks. You could use it as a face gloss or an eye gloss. Um, I think the McGrath glosses can go anywhere on the face safely, because McGrath is an iconic makeup artist, and she just made it that way. Um, so then the next item here is the Venom One Lipstick, and this is just kind of a bright red shade, so you can see it right there. Um, which is just like a great red and McGrath also has the different micro glitters and things that you can mix it with so ooh. what is this flush 2 lipstick this is more of a nude color kind of a dark mauvey nude I think that's really pretty I think that's a very versatile color This is Flesh 1 lipstick, and this is just literally very flesh tone. And those are actually my favorite kind of nudes. It's just like the lightest, almost the exact color of your skin. When I was in high school, I used to just go over my lips with my foundation and like go to school and like about my day like that, and I thought that it looked amazing. I was like, I wish this foundation would just sit on my lips like this all day because I'm feeling great. This is the Blood 1 lipstick, which I feel like is a little bit similar to the 
to the Venom one. Um, I did a, a swatch right above it. So those two shades are pretty similar. This is a little bit of a darker red, more of a mauve undertone. I do wish there was like a little more diversity in there. I, if you just, if you spend a hundred dollars on a lip, well, actually for as many lipsticks as you get, a hundred dollars is not that expensive, but I just would like to see more of a range of color. I don't want to see repeats when I'm spending this much money on makeup. So that is something I will say. This is going to be the Blood 2 lipstick. This looks like a really pretty plum shade. That's going to be super fun to play with. Um, I like that. And these are going on super smooth, too. They're very soft going on. Just a lot of pigmentation. Smooth, no breaking up. No, It doesn't feel dry. I mean, it's on my hand, so it doesn't feel drying yet. But it's, it's good. I like it. And this is the Venom 2 lipstick. This is kind of a lighter plum shade, more of a like magenta pinky shade. That one's really pretty too. It's a good like night out color. Um, let's see. I'm trying my best to not get these sequins everywhere. Ooh. So this is going to be the microfine glitter. I have to be honest. I thought that this was more of like a pigment, even though it said glitter. I said microfine, so I thought that that meant pigment. It kind of looks like a, a pigment on the site. Um, I don't know. If, can you guys see that there? It's just a very like loose glitter. So I'm going to, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to focus it with the light. Um, it's just, it's literally just loose glitter. And this is like a kind of purpley, pinky, reddish color. Um, I don't know that I'll use this on my lips so much, but I do think this will be beautiful on my eyes. So, and I feel like a lot of these different things, like the gloss and the pigment and the glitter, can be used on more than just your lips. And that's one thing I really like about it is its versatility. Like this pigment, you could even use it if you wanted to do like a really gold highlighter, if you wanted to do gold brows, something a little editorial, avant-garde. Like you could use this stuff all over your face because it's just pigment. Woo! Um, I'm going to do a little swashy poo with this one. I'm excited about this. This, see, look at how creamy that is on my finger. And that's not a very good swatch. So I'm going to go back in. It is just a beautiful metallic gold shade. And it goes on the skin just very nicely. Almost a liquidy feel. And it has a lot of sheen to it. It's just like a perfect, like not too bronzy, not too yellowy, just like a true gold color. And I, this is the one that I'm probably the most excited about. I'm going to use it everywhere. Do you guys see this gold dust just flying around? It's really mesmerizing to me. Um, so then the next one, this is another of the microfine glitters. This is in flesh. There's gold all over my hands, but it's kind of beautiful. Um... So this is more of a rose gold microfine glitter, the same as the other one, just like a loose glitter. Again, I don't think I'll use this on my lips, but I will use it on my eyes. Maybe even my face. And then this is just like a Christmas time red microfine glitter in Venom. And I think that's super pretty. It reminds me of Dorothy's shoes from Wizard of Oz. And I think that is everything that is in the kit, actually. So we have six lipsticks, vinyl gloss, gold pigment, microfine glitter, and then we just have this big bag of sequins with which we can do whatever we want. Um, hopefully, I don't know, I might give this to someone as a present. Maybe someone I don't like, and it'll get all over their house. Okay. Ooh, these weigh about 30 pounds each. So we are going to be looking at the Mothership palette. This is one, two, and this is three. This one is called Subluminal, this is called Sublime, and this one's called Subversive. And I just love like the artwork on these, like the praying geisha artwork or whatever you would call that, the Japanese-esque art, the bee on the lip. I love anything with a bee, Gucci got me with that. And just this like black swan, like kind of punk rock, like 1970s looking like thing. Like these are just like 
this is what I want when I spend a lot of money on makeup. Like, I want this presentation. I want it to be artwork. I want it to be, like, they're freaking heavy. These things weigh, like, 10 pounds each. That's an exaggeration. There's no way that these weigh 10 pounds each. But, like, this just feels like good quality makeup. So let's open them up and take a look at them. I don't know that I'm going to do swatches of all of these because this is going to end up being a really long video if I do that. I might just go in afterwards and just add in some pictures of swatches. So this is the Subluminal, I'm sorry, yeah, Subluminal Mothership 1. Um, and it comes, it has a little sheet that shows you all the different colors. And it's, the packaging is beautiful. There's PM for Pat McGrath and it's like this gold embossed and just this shiny black, which is now covered in gold glitter for my hands. The back is all gold. It's just a gorgeous presentation and it just feels like weighty and nice. Um, I feel like this is just going to reflect the light so badly. It has a really nice mirror on it, like it's like a sturdy mirror. And there's this kind of a champagne-y color, this blue that I can't wait to try, another gold. So there's some shimmers. There's like one, two, three shimmers, like four micro glitters. Um, which is just a more glittery shimmer, and then three mattes in here, and there's a lot of good neutral shades that you could use for transition, there's like good shades that you could use for the inner crease, for an inner corner highlight, there's good just like fun kind of pop shades, this one in particular I'm excited to use, and I'm probably going to do a look with this soon, um, there's just not enough time in this video to do everything because I bought so much stuff. So then people, 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 people. Oh, the Sublime palette. Um, God. There's like no fallout with this whatsoever, and it just like goes on like, look at that beautiful coppery shade. So this one's definitely going to be kind of your more nude and warm tones, and then there's this glittery green in there just for kicks but there's like a good black in here a light shade that i would kind of do an all-over lid with a lot of glitters there's a couple shimmers there's three mattes in here i think it's always good to have a good black too i would say that out of the three this is probably going to be your most versatile one if you're not comfortable trying a ton of different makeup stuff like this is probably the one that i would buy it has the bronzy shades the pinky shades especially on someone like me who has like brown eyes brown hair kind of a deeper skin tone like this is going to be a palette that's just going to look good no matter what so that's that people 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 we have the subversive the mothership three so let's just open this one up and they all have this like little untie thing it's just like a very like the experience of getting these and opening these up like i said it's just what i want out of spending a lot of money on makeup like this is the kind of presentation that i like want from most brands and don't always get quite frankly so this it just feels like a work of art like it just feels nice um so ooh. This one's going to be your kind of more cool tone shade. There's a lot of glitters in here. There's this like rose gold kind of um, duochrome. Like it's got like pinks and golds in it. This is a really pretty... Ooh. I'm sorry. I know I said I wasn't going to do swatches. Okay, it doesn't look that good on the arm. But I've seen people do this like over the black and it looked like gorgeous. So we're going to try that out. This is good all over the lid good neutral shades in here but this is definitely gonna be more like a dark like going out kind of look lots of glitters lots of cool tones people 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 it is my unboxing i'm going to do a look with these soon but not right now because i feel like this video has already been about 45 minutes long and most of it has been me trying to open the box um so yeah, thanks for checking this video out. If you guys like this, if you want more unboxings, let me know and be sure to like and subscribe below. Alright, catch you next time.